What's up there, family? How are you guys doing today? First of all, welcome to the Queen's Channel. And welcome to the Queen's Chariot as well. And um, I just wanted to do this topic. I don't know if you guys saw this on the Wendy Williams um, show about this um, young kid that basically was asking um, someone to prom. And he said, if I was black, I'd be picking cotton. But I'm white, so I'm picking you. And he put this on a poster board, as you all you can see. And he had walked around with this up at the school all day. The school officials or anyone did not chastise him, did not tell him to take that down, that that was inappropriate or anything and um, when I saw that I, I immediately said oh my gosh I, I got to do a video about this because we all know that if that kid was any other color black brown Indian you know Mexican Puerto Rican whatever it is that you want to say if that kid was any other race, color, creed other than white, he would have been dealt with severely. You talking about a prom? Please, that kid wouldn't even had to um, been able to go to a graduation. Do you understand me? They would have uh, uh, put that kid out of school. They would have expelled him. They would have said he could not attend prom or graduation. That it's just appalling. It is appalling that right now today, 2018, where we got every other race, every race that you can think of, and really the minority is the mixed race because now there is more biracial children than anyone in the world. There is more biracial children than anyone. And, um, and, and, and to see this and to still allow this to go on, it's just, it's just, it's crazy. It's blasphemous. It's crazy. Um, I saw on Facebook, uh, today, um, someone posted, you know, these officers, uh, literally beating this kid, beating this kid damn near to death. For no reason at all. The kid's not fighting back. He's not doing anything. Um, the friends, two of the kids' friends, one a girl, a female, and one um, a guy, is, is, is filming the whole thing and saying to the officer, stop hitting him. He's not hitting you. Why are you guys beating him? He's not doing anything. And then the officers get, you know, upset. And then one of the officers punched the lady, right? The young lady, right while she's on camera. Another officer... They decide to come up and 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 and, and uh, arrest the boyfriend. You know, it's just getting it's beyond beyond ridiculous the things that are still going on. But I, you know, the one thing that bothers me is why should we be appalled? Why should we be bothered or upset? by all this heinousness and stuff that's going on when we are doing it to each other. We are still doing it to each other. We are still blasting each other. We're dragging each other. We're gagging. We're roasting. We're being so, so, so fucking disrespectful to each other. To each other. But you know, you want, you want this racism shit to stop. You want, I have not cursed a lot <laughs> in a while, but this is really, this has really pissed me off. But seriously, you, we want this racism shit to stop, but we still do it to each other, to each other. You got, you know, sisters bashing sisters, you know, brothers bashing brothers, you know, you can go into a restaurant, a cup somewhere and, um, that your brother or sister will follow you around point you out, pick you out, you know, ask you over and over again, can they help you? But the white person come up in there, they don't do none of that. They don't do none of that to them. And so 
we when we do it to each other, when this is what we're doing to each other, how do you literally expect us to get better with anyone else when this is the rate we're going and this is how we're acting with each other? We're not even trying to make it better. We're not trying to make the situation. I tried, I try to help everybody. I don't have much of nothing. Let me tell you, I am a single mom. I do my very best that I can to take care of my kids. And I love people. I love people. I love children. And I just try my best to take care of the kids. And I try my best to take care of um, um, someone in need. And um, we could see, you know, a mother that's going through something. And she just needs a, 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 a push. You know, she might just need a hand up. And guess what? We won't do it. You, in, in, instead of giving her that push, instead of giving her that hand up, we would criticize her. Well, where, where the baby daddy at? You know what I'm saying? So, oops. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> um, wait, that bump just really did something. But, um, you know, we would, we would criticize her and we would talk about, well, where's the baby daddy and, and, uh, and why she don't got a job. She look able-minded and stuff. And you don't know what is going on with that person's uh, uh, situation. You don't know if the baby daddy left her. These niggas don't want to do nothing. There's another video on Facebook that I'm going to talk about um, where... The young lady went, she got has joint custody with the father, okay? They got joint custody. And it was his weekend. And she went to go take the babies over there because it was his weekend. And he said he didn't want his kids. And he didn't give an explanation or anything. And she said, but this is your weekend. The kids are crying. They want to be with you. He said, I'm not taking them. I'm not taking them. I don't want them. So she called the police. And... The reason, and a lot of people probably said she wrong, but you know why she got, I don't think so. She wanted to get it on tape. She wanted to make sure, because these motherfuckers will sit there and say, I went to try to get my kids and she wouldn't let me see them. You know, they would say, and I'm not saying all men because all fathers are not bad. All, there are uh, a lot of good fathers that want to see their children, that want to spend time with their kids. And let me tell you something. All baby mamas is not good. It's some trifling ass baby mamas out there that got some good daddies and they just some trifling ass bitches and they want to make his life harder. But this was not the case. She was bringing the children to him. He didn't even have to pick them up. She was bringing them to him. And um, he at the um, um, the girlfriend's house and he lying about his car and he lying about all of this stuff. And she said, I just want this on tape. So when I go for full custody, you ain't got shit to say. And the officer said, well, you got what you needed. You got the recording. You got honey. She recorded everything. She recorded the female's house. She recorded their cars, their license plates, everything. And I don't blame her. Not one bit. I don't blame her. Because... This is what we, it's a shame that this is what we have to go through. Nobody anymore wants to do the right thing. Hell, nobody anymore wants to do what's fair. If you, whether, if you really want to know it or not, you got motherfuckers that just that don't even want to be fair. You know what I'm saying? Let alone, let alone just do the right thing. They don't even want to be fair. And, uh, and, and so... It's just that's it's, it, that's just crazy and it's just messed up. But for that back to that the kid at hand, for that kid to be so fucking comfortable with being able to draw that poster and make that poster, and I'm sure the parents seen that. It this 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 weighs a lot on a parent because let me tell you something. My children goes to a pre predominantly white school. And I thank God so far that they have not had any, any, any issues or any troubles or anything. My older children have even graduated. You know, my, my daughter was the first, the first senior class to graduate um, from her school. And, um, and everybody, you know, seemed to get along. It was, it was okay. They, they, they had little issues with her because she had, you know, there was a few teachers that was up and in that you knew 
was kind of prejudiced that you knew that, uh, had problems and I would have to come and check them but my daughter my daughter is was the type of person that you ain't her mama and if you ain't gonna talk to her respect with respect she's not gonna give you respect and so she had more credits than, than she needed to graduate baby back when she had all those credits and stuff that she needed more than she needed to graduate they said she don't have to come back. She's good. She 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 don't have to come back. She can go ahead uh, 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 and and, ha and take the rest of her vacation because she got everything that she needed. And you know this was all done because because they didn't um because they didn't want you know to be bothered with a student that was gonna step up. That was going, I, honey, I told my child, my baby, I, I used to tell them, go into the bathroom and call me. If you have any issues, go and come, don't argue with them. Don't, you ain't got to go through all that, honey. Go into the washroom and call me and I will be up there in a hot second. And they could never figure out how it was that I always got up to that school within minutes. You know what I'm saying? Within seconds. They never could figure that out. And it was because my baby called me every single time. But, you know, Sydney, she was the type that, honey, she going to check you first. She's going to check you first. And then after she checks you, then she going to go call her mama. So that, that was just how she was. The other kids basically would, uh, would, would they wouldn't say anything. They would just say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, or whatever. They'll go along with whatever the teacher had to say or whatever, the, you know the teacher did or whatever they would basically go along with that and um and then they would just wait until they got home most of the time and then they would tell me but Sydney you you wasn't getting away with none of that shit with her but you know the school officials didn't do anything this kid's parents didn't do anything you know and Wendy one thing I and, and, and it's very rare that I agree with shit that Wendy Williams say but honey I agree with her to wholeheartedly when she said every minority kid at that school every single one at that school they all should be suing them they all should be suing because that that was that that was just blasphemy that was just blasphemous and it didn't you know that just didn't make any sense that was just it was it you know it was horrible it was horrible you know and then for a parent to uh allow this because they had to have known the kid is making the poster at home it's possibility it's always that possibility that he could have did it at school or after school or in or, or, or in his room or something like that but come on honey that kid had to get that from somewhere he had to get that from somewhere children are not born racist they are not born racist that is alert behavior okay that is learnt behavior and um so that was just crazy so that's one of the discussions that i wanted to talk about um today and and that other topic about you know uh shared custody and 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 you know what would you do if you went to drop the kids off and the other parent because it could be it could have been the other way around it could have been the father going to drop the kid off and uh and the mom said i ain't taking them today so, you know, how would you handle that situation? What is it that you, you would have done? And um, so, yeah, we're we going to get into some deep discussion. Look, give me thumbs up. Share this video. Please, please, please hit the bell, the notification bell, so that you all can get all of my videos. You And you'll know when I'm going to go live. Until next time. Ta-ta for now.